Thank you for being with us on Real Estate in the Low Country. With me now is Beth Drake, and she's, of course, with Keller Williams, and she's brought a guest today, and this is Lee Janik, and he is the founder of The Vault, which is a really fascinating project that we're gonna get all the details on in just a moment. But Beth, uh, you are gonna be the listing agent on this. Yeah project and pre-sales are happening now so tell yeah, us a little bit about that. We've already sold a couple. We're so excited about this new project and that's why I brought Lee along because he's the expert. He's been developing this in other cities and it's, it's a unique product. So It is and, very unique. And so, we're doing pre-sales so, yep, so I'm here. Call, right, right? Call if, the, if, if this piques your interest, give yeah. Beth a call. So Lee, it's nice to meet you. Thanks nice for being you, here today. So the Vault is a luxury motor condominium and you have some that are already in Mount Pleasant and we're coming to Hilton Head. Tell us what this is all about. We are private storage communities for luxury vehicle collectors. If that kind of sums it up. Yeah. A lot of people ask me, what is a vault? So that is kind of what we boil it down to. Um, the long and the short of it is, um, we're communities for guys or ladies um, that have expensive toys. Um, we're private, we're gated, and um, we're a storage facility, but not the typical storage facility. Right. Uh, we're large format. We start at a thousand square feet, and the big difference with what our product is, is you buy them, so you don't have to rent them. Okay. So one of the big issues, especially uh, in the south and on the coast, is salt and right. where you store your vehicles. Um, a lot of our uh, homes are raised, doesn't allow for much space underneath, and it's usually open, so you open the salt there. If you have a big collection, where do you put it, right? So this allows you to purchase a space um, that's comfortable and, and and private um, they're heated air conditioned um, but they're way more than that I mean this is not <clears throat> your typical storage unit because you said like, before we started filming they really kind of become man caves absolutely that's yeah. actually probably the best way to describe it in one word um, once they're bought you can do anything you wish with them so they are like a condo so there are dues uh, you do own it so it's appreciating asset and um, the, the, the gentleman usually um, will either leave them pretty bare or they'll go crazy. Right. Um, those are the fun ones. So you know, bathrooms, showers, lofts, um, car lifts, bars, pool tables, golf simulators, driving simulators. Humidors. Um, exactly. Um, humidors, you know, wine coolers, you name it. Um, we can go in there. So. And so you mentioned also that um, in Mount Pleasant, it, it's really kind of has become a community. So people kind of, they go and they want to hang out in their own space, but then they're with like-minded people. So they kind of go and check out other people's toys too. Exactly. Yeah. We, we, we promote community because that's what it becomes. Most guys that buy them understand them right off the bat and they're excited for it, but they don't realize what a community feel in a sense um, that they get until they're in there. It's basically birds of a feather. So. Okay. Um, a lot of my friends were created through my business, which is really nice. I met a lot of cool people. And then the neighbors become friends and it becomes just one big giant, you know, community of guys that, you know, all like sports cars and, and boats and motorhomes and motorcycles and, uh, all, the and fun stuff. all the fun stuff. Yeah. Exactly. And so um, we did also talk about before we started filming that you might be able to crash there here and there mm -hmm. if maybe you've had one too many at your poker night. I've but never done that. No, I'm sure. And none of none of the other people who exactly. own in the vault have either. But in case, but you can't live there. You can't live there, but you can crash there. Um, they are for storage only. So they're, they're condos, but they're not livable condos. Okay. And so Beth, talk to us a little bit about the pre-sale and um, you know how somebody gets involved with that mm -hmm. and where you're starting price point wise. And because I know there's some different levels. Right, there is. So we're starting off with the first 10 at 350,000. Uh, we've got to, you know, we're going to sell a certain amount and then we'll break ground just like typical new construction. A lot of times you have pre sales, so you just give us a deposit and, uh, and then it'll probably be about a year before everything comes together by the time you break, build, and, and all. And so you'd have it then, right, Lee? Yep. About a we, year? We pre sold phase one in Mount Pleasant in about six months, which is 30 units. Okay. And we're already selling in phase two and we just broke ground about two months ago. 
Okay. So we sold them still trees. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. so I mean, obviously, people are excited about yeah. this idea, Absolutely. and so welcome to the Low Thank Country. Thank you so much for yeah, having me for here. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Beth, for yeah, sharing about this with us. Just give me a call. Yep. I'm happy give to her talk a call. about if it. This intrigues you. Make yeah. sure you're giving. Beth they're a call. located right off the of Buckwater, so they're yeah. very convenient. And when this, when you guys break ground, you're going to have to come back and give us an update. We'd love it. Deal. Okay. okay. Thanks so much. Thank you.